So starting off with what Ben said, we're going to start off with just using really basic uh, feature points. Um, and to go into it a little bit, we can, uh, in Katia, we can create a feature point using fast point creation and then drag that same fe uh, feature point, keeping the link, uh, keeping the link with the tolerances, and then move it around on that same surface. So just for example, I am going to create a fast point right onto this feature. So there it goes. It applies right there. So if I wanted to go ahead and move this to another part on the same feature, I can drag it over here and it's going to end up there. But keep in mind too that this is going to keep linked with that same tolerance for the same MTM uh, down the road. So once we change it, it's not going to make it a brand new one. Um, and you know we can use, you can use this um, for DCS points and as well as feature points. Uh, and if you wanted to change like your primary locators of your move, you can do it this way. Uh, and just to show you, if I already have a point that's created on there, I can come into this feature point, go to the fast point creation. Uh, I have to do a window selection on that point, and then I can move it back if I needed to. Uh, Jason, that, uh, that vector, uh, besides the coordinate, would update too. You, you drag it to two surfaces that are going the same direction. You drag it to a different surface, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to pick up the new coordinate as well as the vector. Correct. Yes. Um, and on that sub, uh, sub note, uh, we can also create the CATIA points, or using CATIA points within CATIA. So I'm going to go into this, uh, the knuckle, and I'm just, I just want to go ahead and we know that, you know, we can probably create continue points pretty quickly, and so right now I'm in my uh, generative shape design, so I'm going to create a point on this feature right here, I'm going to just create that zero, okay, go back to my 3DCS, Sorry, there's a little window there. Uh, go to convert DCS point, or CATIA point, and select this as a feature. And so what it's going to do is it's going to make, it's going to bring that surface in as a feature and make that point uh, with on top of that feature as well. So now it's an actual feature point. Send a graph. Uh, so right here. There's our new point. We can use it to make um, new MTMs, new tolerances, uh, keep it linked with features, all that, all that good jazz. I can also bring in other points from 3DCS into CATIA. So I am going to select on this fixture here that I have a bunch of points on. And I'm going to bring in the upper B1, side B1, and lower B1. And if I go up into the CATIA part now, it will have those, part, uh, those new points in here. Right here at the bottom. So that was really quick. So what did you do to bring those into CATIA from 3DCS? So using that same dialog as bringing the, the CATIA point from 3D or 2DCS, 3DCS, um, using the same feature, uh, convert DCS to feature point. I only had to switch the DCS to feature point to CAD point, <laughs> and then uh, select down the points that are on in 3DCS. So going back down here, I can select in the tree or select in the graphics window. Um, I just selected those and they went right over. That's important because one of the things we, we uh, promote is the pull and push from your CAD system. So when you're in CATIA, your designers have designed parts, you want to be able to pull as much as possible from, those, from what the designers have done into your model, be able to work with it, analyze it, uh, optimize it, and then push that back into the CATIA parts. Sure. It's all about not reauthoring data. We don't want to recreate data that's already within the CAD system. So those 
points are there, we can use them. And then do we want to push design locators and design features to the designer? It's not all 3 d CS. We push them back at CAD points, get developers sketch around that, and they, they can go. There's a good integration between those tool sets. 